Hello and welcome everybody out there in D&D land. I hope you're all having a fantastic start of your week. I hope you're all staying cozy and warm. It's uh, colder than hell out here. So uh, yeah, it's a very, very fun time. Very fun time. Uh, before we jump into the action today. Oh, hello, Palando. Uh, before we jump into the action today, just a reminder that if you do like this content, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. All of that helps us out so very, very much. If you watch live, don't forget to follow the Twitch channel. That is twitch.tv slash Joey. And if you're interested in joining any of our games, including this one and many of the others that happen throughout the week, all within the same living universe, please consider joining our Patreon. Get in the uh, door at one of the lower tiers. Get a one-on-one -on -one with me for absolutely free. Just be able to learn everything that you want. Hello, Panda. And see if this is a suitable community for you. As a heads up, it is a pay-to-play community. So just keep that in mind, everybody. So... Corvos, what the fuck happened last session? That's a very good question. So, we started off the way that most good sessions start off. We uh, we went into the forest, turned into mountain lions, did some drugs, turned some other people into mountain lions, and, uh, you know, that was fun. Uh, then, by the time we got, up, got to Alfield, um, we met up with Shelby, who was the... Uh, Inkeep or the Inkeep's wife, I forget which. Neither. Uh she was just a barmaiden. Ah. She's the wife of the um what's his position here? Captain. Captain. Captain of the guard. Okay. Uh well we uh we met up with her, uh caught up a little bit there. Uh and then eventually we ended up Invited to dinner with with her, her husband, and then another another pair. Um, where we played some Chinese checkers, uh, and we heard some rumors about another Volstrucker agent, um, as well as some things that uh, Corvus was more than kind enough to look the other way when he heard them. Uh, in the whole slightly treasonous department. Uh, that is all I have. <laughs> <laughs> so after meeting up with an old friend of you and Jasper, uh, Mona, a tiefling woman, uh, the wife of Rickton Shaw, uh, a very noble, energetic, and aspiring guardsman here inside of the Empire, uh, you learned about those little issues, and some of you seem like you wanted to help out, and others, well... No, I think all of you seem like you wanted to help out, so. You all wake up in the morning, stretching and feeling refreshed. Good morning, everybody. Morning. Uh, I don't like waking up to everything being fuzzy. <laughs> I'm still waking up. That's true, actually. Hmm. Now, who's ready to kill some people? Wait, what? We're doing that? I thought, I thought that was just a dream. Nope. Oh, I don't. I don't know that that was the exact course of action we all agreed to. Gonna poison him. Mm, what? <laughs> and then I'm gonna maul him in the street as a lie. Or wait, I'm confused now. <laughs> not. Uh, I thought this was the plan we all agreed on. I don't believe any of us agreed to a specific plan. I feel like a attacking a Volstrucker and trying to kill him in any way is not the best plan. Yes, it is not. Okay. It is, what if it we is a. Convince him to kill himself. Uh, That's somehow a better plan. Despite being just as not attainable. So. Around this time. Hmm. Yep. Because you're the most reliable one here in his mind. Jasper. You receive a message. Uh-huh. A little piece of paper ignites and appears in the palm of your hand.
Oh, this is what he was talking about. Uh, he it. doesn't even know you, Regina. <laughs> <laughs> it's from Reggie. Oh, good. He is expressing um, that he is not going to be returning to the Empire or possibly Wildmount for any time soon. He successfully disrupted the Myriad in the sect he was following after. Oh. And he has made a few new allies as well. For the time being, he is going to be in Iman. Oh, oh do I know where Iman is? Uh, you're from the Menagerie Coast. You would hear about yeah. that. Okay. Uh, well, Panda, the other if, side of Taldori. If you Ooh. want to know what happened to Reggie, you can watch all of that on Saturday. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that campaign is called um, For the Empire or Her People. Hmm. Well, it looks like he's going to find himself winded up on the other side of South Door, right? Great. Hmm. Well, at least we have something from him. Hmm. I'm sorry, who is this Reggie fellow? He's a friend. Mm-hmm. Oh, all right. A friend in deep shit with the Empire right now. He's the Volstrucker that we met in um Fort Zoon, correct. Fort Zoon. That yeah. would be the one. Why don't we just get him to kill the other Volstrucker? Well, there's there's reasons. Why don't we ask him if what he thinks about the other Volstrucker? Mm, that is actually a is a good idea. Question actually. What do you mean hmm. actually? Let me check. <laughs> Does the paper like disappear or does it just stay as paper? It, it stays with you, but you can't... You know what? No, you'd be able to use the same piece of paper twice. Fuck it, it's still worth the same amount. Okay. Because I don't assume any of you have wizarding paper. Nope. Like 10 GP. <laughs> no. Okay. I mean, I have gold, but I don't have and paper. And which one of you was shown the little book to learn how to do this again? Uh, either Corvus or Jasper. I think, one of those. yeah, yeah. I think they gave it to Corvus. I'm not sure. So Corvus would be the one who would kind of sure. know how to do this. Okay, I can do that. Oh yeah, I do have it. Mm -hmm. I'd still, pro I'd probably want to learn how to do it anyway. It's very useful, it seems. Oh yeah, yeah. Fuck sending so I'll... paper. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's perfect. Kill this trees, save time. Yep. <laughs> if you write small, you can get more than 25 words on it. Yep. Basically that one uh, el Eldritch Invocation without having to deal with a patron. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> but yeah, so what are you writing down? So, uh... I guess I'm gonna write something to the effect of Hey, Reggie, hope you're doing well. Say, there's this other Volstrucker we just crossed paths with. What do you think of him? Something to that something to that effect. Alright, Corvos, I will Give ask you name. one thing. Uh how is he supposed to know which Volstrucker? <laughs> Give him the name. <laughs> yeah, Give that's the name. I will include the name. What's the name? Oh boy. It is I have it somewhere, I think. You didn't even remember the guard's name, so there's no way I'll tell M? you that. I have I have M. That's was, all I have. Was this one M? Yes, it was. Indeed, it was. <laughs> so, you send that over. Yeah. You wait. About ten minutes go by flaw. and you don't have <laughs> any response. <I> <laughs> I think I noticed the flaw in this. Yeah. <laughs> in this spell. Or whatever this is. It's magical ritual. You're up to six minutes now. Wait, we went from ten to six? Oh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> you're up to eleven now? <laughs> well, should we go get some breakfast while we wait? That's mm. also a good idea. Oh, that's right. We're still in the manor. Oh, boy. Yep. Doesn't she say she didn't cook? 
Yes, she did. Oh no. It's all right. I'll go. We'll, we'll go buy some breakfast and bring it back to her. Oh. <laughs> oh no. We so, offered as so, a thank you for staying. Alrighty. So, uh, question: Where do you guys intend on buying breakfast in this town? <laughs> Where the, the breakfast app? store is. Where's the breakfast store? Uh, sorry, no, they don't really have... Ye old high hop. <laughs> ye old high hop. Um... We could just walk through an inn and be like, can we have some food? And then just yoink it. And just take it away. That you could do. You could go to an Ra inn order wrap it up. and just walk out. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so you do that. You get a, a hearty breakfast of uh, bacon and eggs. With mm. some stale bread. Yummy. Good for soaking up the grease from the bacon. Mm. And you bring it back. Uh, Mona is nowhere to be seen as of now. Yeah, she's probably sleeping in. It's a bit of a bit of a heavy night of drinking. Mm. So, what is the plan then? Well, well first we're going to see if you know. Uh, Reggie has any insight for us? Yeah, it'd be great if he was, you know, get to back to us a little bit more quickly. I was going to say, what if he doesn't reply? Well, in that case, there's not that much we can do about that, but... Yep. Then either he's being a dick, or he's dead. We could do a little bit of uh, recon work today. I'm not that That's stealthy. Possible... Well, I have a way to make us all a little bit stealthy. Mm. Do you go on? Intriguing. So usually animals leave paw prints and tracks in the dirt and the snow whenever they're moving about, and I can make it to where that doesn't happen. Oh, I do that too. Wait a minute. Are we talking about the same thing? Perhaps, maybe. Hmm. Interesting. That's good to know that you have that as well. Well, that's useful. Uh, Corvus, a piece yes. of paper appears in your hand, oh. and then another one, and then another one, and then another oh. one, and then another oh, one. Oh no, he has notes on this guy. <laughs> oh, no. You get a total of 14 pages. Guys, oh. guys, he has opinions. Oh no. <laughs> the first well, page, the first page reads, Iman is beautiful. They have so much open paper available at reasonable prices. <laughs> this is amazing. The next Sponsor. page is a drawing diagram of the individual that he's expressing. Uh, Regina, when you look at them, they look similar to the individual you saw walking back and forth. Uh, oh yeah, that, that's him. That's the one. Mm -hmm. uh, the third page is depicting this personality type of the individual. Um, Reggie would describe them as a little more chaotic than most other Volstruckers. Um, they always seem to love doing their own little deeds for themselves that ultimately serve to try to put them in higher graces for Trent. As such, um, even the Volstruckers consider him, Hey, sweet tea, thank you for the host. Appreciate it. Um, even the Volstruckers consider him... Um, more yes, of a lap dog than the rest of them for Trent. Yeah. Teacher's pet? Yes. Mm. Hey, Floopier, how you doing? Um, he's incredibly intelligent, very perceptive as well. An individual that watches their back at almost every interval and every uh, chance that they get. Uh, hey, Life, how you doing? And... The individual is known for more planning in their own safety since they kind of make enemies easily. Even amongst Volstruckers, they are very careful about themselves. However, Reggie does also express that this person, in his personal opinion, is a bitch when it comes to an <laughs> actual confrontation. Got it. Now, where Reggie is known Good for his know. incinerary capabilities, this individual does not have that. Not to the same degree, Reggie. Ah, so he's not a blaster. Good to know.
Well, it sounds like we should be able to take him there. Yeah. Yeah, but there's also the part of it being public and drawing eyes on us. Given the fact that he does seem to like being close to Trent, obviously Trent will probably take notice when he's gone and would probably send people to investigate and ask around about what happened around here. Uh, the so. answer is, he got eaten by a tiger. <laughs> um, exactly. I mean, I guess, fair enough, but I mean, I, how do you explain a tiger um, getting into the city and then killing him? Actually, it'd probably be best if I turned into something that's not a cat, because that's what I normally turn into. Fair. That's true. So if I kill him as a bear, I'd be like, oh, I only know how to turn into cat. Draw suspicion off of you. Uh, sure. Not terribly uncommon around here. Well, and doesn't he go watch some portal? Yeah, Jeffrey mentioned that he has some sort of experiment out in the hills that he likes to deal with and mess around with, but he doesn't let anybody else really go there. So... Yeah, but if we found him there, it's away from town. Or we could ask if we could maybe help him with whatever he's doing out there? And then he takes us out there, and then we could do it there when he's alone? And just be like, oh, is one of his experiments malfunctioning? Oh no, we got poisoned. Or even just, hey, I guess we haven't heard from him. I guess he's just gone. Or he got now. mauled by a mutant bear. Oh no, it's, oh man. I'm, I'm actually starting to get on board with this. I think asking him if we can help is suspect. Yeah. True, 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 true. Uh, that part I'm definitely think... honest with you on. Corvus, around this point, you receive another piece of paper. I apologize. I just had to reach out and learn something else from a contact. Uh, M is supposed to be in... Second. Feolin right now. Oh, and he's not. Uh, that could be useful. Apparently he's supposed to be in Feolin right now. Assisting with the individuals who are... Well... Not who are, he would write, uh, who have successfully taken care of the Eldritch monstrosity inside of the ocean? Yes. Hmm. Ah, yes. So he's supposed to be in the menagerie cleaning up the sea monster mess, but he's actually here right now. Hmm. Unless he's going back and forth. <sighs> Maybe? Maybe that's what the portal does. Huh. Interesting. Unless his contact is there in Phelan and knows that he's not there right now, so... Hmm. Either way... Hmm. There's a piece of information that we have that he probably doesn't know that we have. Did you mention to Reggie that he's been setting up safe houses here in Owlfield? Oh, no, we did not mention that part. Uh, because of all of the messages he sent you, you can also mark down that you have, uh, I'd allow like nine pieces of paper with available writing space. Just flip them over. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but some of them he went onto the back because, you know, he's not used to having such open access to magical things. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So, what I'm thinking is we're not really on a time crunch for this, right? It doesn't have to be no. done today. No, I have an idea, though. I think idea, it would be best to get some information first and, and maybe stay in town for a couple days and see what he does in his pattern. Say, uh, Fordrum, Jasper, do either of you remember the name of the Lord of Phelan, whose house we stayed in and whose assassinous body double also almost killed us? Oh. Hold up. Let me see. Mm -hmm. One moment. Oh, uh, you mean Duke Haverbrook? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, he was yep. the one that talked to us about Cross's death in uh, Phelan. With him being in Phelan, mm -hmm. he might be able to tell us whether or not our friend has been where he should be. Well, he might have been the contact, because Reggie was Reggie met with him. That's also true. It could have been the contact that he was mentioning, because... I'm assuming you probably would have had some more dealings with these creatures and whatnot. 
being there, and probably whoever the crew, cleanup crew was, including this M. Wait I'm sure second. that's probably who Reggie contacted, probably. I just had a thought. Hmm. The guy that I saw had a scar down his back. What if uh. he put somebody else's face on? What? Like, like a like a mask? Like he? Yeah. Like a leather face. Yeah. Interesting. Or perhaps he's had surgery or something to make him look like him. Did he have any bandages? Like it was new, or was it just kind of like an old scar? Face no, off I, is I, such I, a good movie. <laughs> <laughs> um, it, it looked like an old scar when I saw it, right? Um, roll me a medicine check. I may be going crazy, but I thought I heard you say there was bandages, but kind of hard for you to remember. I I can't remember. I don't think I saw bandages, but I may have. I I know I saw the actual skull. Hmm. Interesting. Could you tell what uh, race he was? Human, elf, half elf, dwarf. I believe he was half elf, maybe. He's not a dwarf. He's definitely not a dwarf. Oh, hmm. Okay. I believe he was half elf. What what does he look like on the picture? Does he have the pointy ears? Uh, on the picture, he does have slightly pointed ears. Um, so definitely some portion elf, half presumably. Hmm. Okay. All right. All right. What if? I send another of Reggie's notes back to him with the question of did he did he use uh the Lord as his contact to, or, uh or because otherwise we could ask at that point. I have to correct something. The picture Reggie drew does not have pointed ears. Oh. That changes that. Well then. But the rest of it looks the same. More or less, yeah. Weird that that would be oh. different. Are we possibly dealing with uh, a fake, then? Could be. Could be an imposter. Hmm, I do love pasta. Mm. Or maybe he's using That's a doppelganger. So. That way he can have control in two places. Hmm. So I guess the question would be, can we confirm if him is in feeling and that might make us know or let us know that the one that is here is well that's fake. what reggie just said he said he's supposed to be in Phelan, so i'm assuming that means that he's there well wait supposed to be why? but that that's what we're saying is can we confirm does reggie have a way to confirm or do we have a way to send a message to oh. the duke of Phelan? Right, reggie back not the know. duke his name was just duke yeah, his name was Duke. He wasn't <laughs> yeah, a Duke. Yeah. Like Duke, Duke Herring, uh, Ellington. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah got yeah. it. That was the pun back then, but yeah. I get it. <laughs> I'll, I'll write Reggie back. Are you confirming that he's in, that he's there? Are you confirming that he should be? He replies back after about 10 minutes or so while you're all eating, I assume. Um, I do not wish to be too wasteful of this paper. Still not a good habit to develop. I am confirming, thanks to Captain Duke, that M is currently butlering the estate of those individuals. Okay, so he is oh, definitely yeah. there. He's watching over the people there right now in the so... estate. So whoever this other person is is obviously not the real one. Or I'm going to use one more reused note for Reggie. Just to ask. Oh boy, these are just you're down random, to seven. You're down to seven. Random, random I'm, conversations I'm, all it's over them. It's, right. right. <laughs> it's hilarious. Right. Is is there typically a reward for fake uh, Uh I I mean, I'm sure the Empire would be delighted to know this, that he was doing this, but, I mean, eh. Probably not. 
greatest. You get a reply with a single word. Yes. Oh. Well. There could be money at the end of this. <laughs> yeah. Now, can you all trust this Reggie guy? You said he was your friend, right? Mm -hmm. I say we should trust him. Okay. From, from a long line of having not trusted him. Until I've figured out, yeah, he's on the ball. Okay. If it's good enough for you all, it's good enough for me. That's literally every game that interacts with him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, man, you know. Yeah. We didn't like him at first, but, you know, he's all right. <laughs> Yeah, as long as you don't have to him. try and protect him, he's it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> if if you have to actually be in a fight with him, I, uh, I'm worried for you. Yeah. yeah. That's I don't know. He helped me go really fast, run really fast one time. I, I liked it. Yeah. yeah but he, I'm not sure how much that counts considering that. he was in another room 12 seconds later. Yeah, when you crashed down off that balcony. That's great. I thought it was fun. Mm. <clears throat> I've never ran that fast in my life. And unfortunately Either way. I think I think I like the plan of we follow this imposter to wherever it is he's going. Mm -hmm. Now, I do too. Do you guys remember where that portal or whatever it is that's outside of town is? Nope, never saw it. It was just oh. that it was there. But you knew it was there. Yeah, no, we Jeff saw it, didn't we? You guys closed all closed. You guys killed the uh, creatures. Yeah. You yeah. killed the uh, the. Oh, it's the same area. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. That's it. That's it. Yeah. yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Then yeah, so, yeah, 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 yeah. We were there a while ago. Yes. Well, then let's go there Over and here, yeah. camp we it could, and see. Yeah, we could wait, see whenever he shows up for his next visit. Granted, those tunnels are a little bit tricky, so once we get in there, it might be a bit more of a... Jasper shakes his hands like, eh, tunnels, eh, it's whatever. Stone oh. is stone. The earth is earth. Well, sort of. What sort do you mean, of. sort of? <laughs> there's, there's different stone from different eras, so it depends on where you're at like the stone in some of the places we've been it don't doesn't have the history of the stone. well that's how stone is formed it's not all the same age yeah but exactly. it's still stone that's the thing mm, they have different properties so i guess they're alike but oh like, boy the all stone right. that you're gonna use <laughs> for your sword is a different type of stone than that rock right over there that made that Yep. An urchin assy and a dwarf talking about stone. <laughs> this is what we needed. <laughs> this is the greatest roleplay I have ever experienced. <laughs> I was more generalizing, you know, stone in general, not the specific types of stones, which I do know. Geologists are the most boring people in the world. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> so See, this rock look. is different than the other rock because this one has this specific crystal in this other place. It has a 4% difference in material. <laughs> Which makes it amethyst instead of sapphire. Yes, and it also increases the hardness of it as well. Oh, God. Around this time, Mona comes downstairs with all of you eating, uh, oh. sits down, covering her eyes, and just starts, like, eating off of one mm. of the plates. Good morning. Mm. Been a while <laughs> since you drank like that. No, it doesn't get easier. I pour her water and sort of, without <laughs> sliding it, place it as gently as I can to make no noise if possible in front of her. She takes a sip from it and then like scoffs a little. It's like, thought it would be more alcohol. <sighs> yeah, I, I pour her a glass of wine and send it along. You know what they say, hair the cat. I understand. This is my second time, so I feel you. <laughs> uh, she just looks over at you when you say that and blinks a couple of times. Wait, no, 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 no. Not like that. I, I mean, we're we're going to do this, right? He looks over at Corvus and Cordrum and Regina. I think so. Right, of course. You're going to do what? 
We're gonna expose this imposter that is running around. There's an imposter? We an think imposter. so. There's we an now imposter think there's among a person us. Who's extorting? We're going to from... gather proof and then expose him. What were you saying, Fordrum? We just think that the person who is extorting from um, Jeffrey is maybe an imposter and not really the Volstrucker. He is pretending Big fat to be. liar. Oh. Oh. Yes. Oh. Oh. That would be. But okay, for you, for you, you should do nothing, <laughs> and and pretend you don't know anything, because that is the safest place for you. Yes. Especially since there is a chance that we might be wrong. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. We she, have to find out more. She dips the stale bread into the wine glass and starts eating it. <sighs> What? It's stale. No. Yeah, I'm gonna try it now too. I didn't see if that was actually moist good. moist and stale. Ooh, the wombo combo. It's. I mean, it's 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 softer, and honestly, that little bit of a fruity taste is not bad on bread. I mean, oh, yeah. jam and bread is Why the do jam. People put jelly up? Yeah. Yep. So yeah, she she's a. Uh, yep. She had a thing there. I learned that from our yeah. little friend from Joahas. Mm. You should tell them to do that at mm. the bar. Maybe. Do we, uh, should we Make talk to Captain Jeffries about wine them? crumpets? What do you need to talk to Jeffries about? Uh, they're being an imposter. I, I think don't... you all should keep him as far away from all of this as possible. Yeah, I feel like we let him find out post. Okay. Mm -hmm. Feelings. All of you have his trust, but you know, keep I'm just, things. I'm worried that he's taking orders from somebody that's not legitimate, and you know, then kill when him. All is said and when all is said, who Jeffries? No, the imposter. Oh. Right, but if we do kill him and it comes out Thanks that he is follow. an imposter, and then his and higher ups are like, "How did you not see this? You worked right alongside him. You're an idiot." No, it's easy. We just tell, we just in the end tell everybody that Jeffrey led us to him. Yeah. Do what everyone else in the Empire does lie for political gain. Well, we're not doing it for political gain. We're doing it for well, popularity. Sake. For his political gain. Oh. Well, that's just, a, that's just a side effect of what we're doing. That's not the reason we're doing it, though. That's the difference between us and the Empire. <sighs> Regardless, well, that I'm short. <laughs> regardless, have fun. Uh, just thank you for taking this upon yourselves, and uh, don't feel like you need to do anything that might be too dangerous to yourselves. Not for us. Ah, uh, Mona, we're heroic. Sure. You'll see. <laughs> Yeah, well, see. We already saved this town once, pretty much. We can do it again. Twice, okay. technically. But there are rumors going around that you guys failed the first time. She takes another bite of the eggs. Just that is that is How actually true, they? though. That is actually true. Yeah, we but did I our best. Regina, you weren't, you weren't here. here. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter. We're, we're a group now. We did our best. Now. Is that how it works? <laughs> I'm a hero you by a association. Group. Yeah, you just joined a group and you already have all the accomplishments that they've already had. Right. Look, yeah, absolutely. If they're making a statue, we're getting one too. That's all I'm right. saying. Right, exactly. You guys are, you, I'm glad I mean, somebody understands. That. If you want a statue, right. you can have a statue. I mean, that's fine. Can yeah. We? Can I pick what rock we use? Sure. Okay. As long as the one amethyst? that he doesn't. <laughs> 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 so she takes out a small key and places it on the table that is the key to the house if any of you need to come or go please use it I keep it locked up in here so. Mark Regina snags it <laughs> oh boy drops it in her cleavage 
Oh, I'm not touching Nobody's that. Nobody's ever getting that. Nope. Nope. It's gone. We'll break the door down. <sighs> yep. <laughs> that's fine. Doors never stopped me before. <sighs> All right. But anyways, if you need some tea or food or something, we do have a fully stocked kitchen. Mostly things that you can uh, pick up and eat. And I get a delivery of goods every couple of days. Are you leaving town or are you staying? Oh, I'm staying here. I'm not leaving this place. Okay, good. All right. Well, we may drop in in the near future. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to go back upstairs and finish sleeping. She takes the plate and the wine and just goes upstairs. Good night. Well, I wish. <laughs> I wish I could continue sleeping. <laughs> Fantasy, so you nice. get a long rest. <laughs> oh, <laughs> just <laughs> roll me back up in that blanket like a burrito, please. God, I used my spell slots so long ago, and I never got them back. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a minute. Do you two need to sleep more? Because Regina and I can start doing some reconnaissance of the area. It's all right. No, it's we're fine. All right. I'd actually like to start at his house if that's all right. I think we should start at the find that portal location. I feel like if it were me, I would put traps in the house. Oh. True. Yeah. Well, we could just send in Lord Cavendish. That way we don't have to worry about it. I mean, it, he might still That's... know that they're going off, which means he's already alert anyway, which means it wouldn't really help us. Especially I mean, if, if one of them ends up killing it was like... the Lord. <laughs> I mean, if it doesn't kill the Lord, though, and he just finds out it's a cat. Right, exactly. Just Unless a spring, realize... not in the house. All right, fair enough. Maybe the Lord Cavendish shouldn't wear all of his clothing. Oh yeah, that's what? right. He has his clothing on. He's so handsome. Yeah, no, I agree. But I don't think he believes it was a stray. <laughs> normal strays don't. Right. Yeah. The cat pushes the top don't. hat off of its head. <laughs> I don't think he was waiting for that. <laughs> I think he agrees. Yeah, I look at Lord Cavendish. I'm like, that wasn't permission, motherfucker. Put it back on. No, no. <laughs> we didn't say now. We said later. We said clothes, not hats. Oh. Have to hat. <laughs> it's just it's a wandering stray with a hat. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Mm. Oh no. Well, he can't really oh. put the hat back on because he doesn't have thumbs. Sure. <laughs> and head all this hat. <laughs> God. Evolution? <laughs> like, <laughs> who said that? <laughs> oh gosh. All right. Well, let's get him. Get him undressed. I'll take his clothes off. I'm not touching him. And for once, they seem mildly happy. Hey. Well, as happy as a cat could be. That's fair. Now. Perfect. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh man oh, love it so yeah what are we doing everybody are you going to be throwing the cat at the wall and hoping it sticks or are Literally. you going to be jumping down into the catacomb or the uh sorry the um yeah, it's basically catacombs now tunnels and do shit which one for future reference I'm not saying it's inaccurate but I am saying I would prefer our metaphors of slightly less animal views <laughs> that's fair yeah. it's only because yeah. it's a cat we got the cat we got Malachi he's just vibing oh, <laughs> he's, like... he's doing something alright <laughs> I like nope. the catacombs idea but I'm totally easily swayed I feel so. like we, could, we, could, we should start with the house and then we go to the catacombs I mean, right. the house is okay. like 200 feet away yeah so, that's fair if it weren't for that, I'd say catacombs all day. But Well, let's see Fair how enough. the house goes. And if that goes good or bad, we'll see. Alrighty. So we're going to do the house during the day? Yep. Very well. So you walk out into the streets where snow is beginning to blanket all around. Just mm -hmm. a nice little flurry and chill that disturbs Jasper, but everybody else is accommodated perfectly. And you look down the street, 
about six houses away on the left. There it is. Uh, once we get closer to it, once we get right in front of it, I'm going to... Oh, heavens me, I feel faint. I'm going to fall oh, into the snow. Yeah. Okay. And, and I'm going to take over Lord Kevin Nash's eyes. Oh, no. What are we doing? So how close do you have <laughs> to be for that? 100 feet, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, so that puts you a house away from it. Or up to like a house and a half away from it. But yeah, okay. you do that, and uh, you now are looking through Lord Cavendash's eyes, who's looking at you judgmentally. He, he does know I could have just, you know, taken her arm while she just... Yeah, Jesper's already, like, picking her up off, off the ground. Yeah. Regina, you're hearing all of this from Lord Cavendash's <laughs> perception. Uh, I can still speak as Regina. You speak yes. as Regina, but you hear and see as Lord Cavendash. Not this way. You know, there'd be a reason for us to linger out in the street. A frail old lady. <laughs> Lord Cavendash starts walking over the fence. I pretend to start giving her medical treatment. <laughs> Roll me a medicine check? Well, I mean, he's faking a medicine check, so... Yeah, that's that's the point, though. You <laughs> know, it look real, though. That's exactly. The Are you starting on her foot? <laughs> yep. Let's see. Yeah. All right. All right. You're checking her ankle. You didn't immediately Did you roll go. her ankle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you'd immediately go CPR now, like you do. Yeah, I just pull out like a bandage and just start wrapping around her foot. Maybe a little mouth to mouth could help me. Mm. Or, uh, I know, don't it's... think you need CPR right now. I think that's that's different. I haven't heard of it making things worse, but I'm not willing to take that chance. I don't think it'll make it any better though for anybody involved. It'd make it better for me. Oh, <laughs> that's what we're afraid of. <laughs> you all see Lord Kamadash get the chill up his spine as he's walking. Same, little buddy. <laughs> Same. So anyways, it continues across the top of the fence until it gets over to that house that you were creeping in front of yesterday. It looks around, and there's a wide open area that leads over towards the front door, roughly about a 20-foot gap from the fence all the way up to the door itself. It is a two-story building that has roughly about six rooms on the top floor and presumably less than but equal in size rooms on the lower floor as well. Uh, Regina, I need you to roll me an investigation check as Lord Cavendash. That's intelligence. It is. As the cat. But, it um, walks. That sounds about right. It <laughs> walks. It does not see any way inside. I don't know that we're going to be able to get in. Hmm. I could try throwing him up onto that balcony. <laughs> we're playing football. <laughs> Woo. Never mind. Our, our analogies have exactly the right amount of animal abuse. <laughs> <laughs> I was right. Throw it at the wall and hope it sticks. <laughs> Oh, boy. At that point, it's not even an analogy anymore. <laughs> it's like Airbud, but the opposite. No. No, it's <laughs> nothing like Airbud. Airbud was great. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I said it was the opposite. <laughs> but anyways, yeah. Uh, Lord Cavendash cannot see any strong points of entry that it could manipulate. All right. Uh, I'll, let it, I'll let it go and just come back to my set. Well, the house is a bust. Unless one of us wants to take a closer look. Yeah, I'll pass on that one. I like the I like the go to the portal idea. Excuse me, are all of you okay? You oh, see one yes. of the guards walking towards you. Oh, sorry, yeah. sorry. Uh, Just a little slip in the snow. It's nothing. Are you okay, yeah. Matam? Oh, had a little bit of a scare there. I thought I broke my hip for a second. Yeah. He kneels down beside you. You seem to be, uh, he, like, touches around your, like, leg and then, you know, make sure you're okay. You seem oh. to be fine. Are you, are you, you feel okay? A little woozy? Dizzy? I do now, if you don't mind helping me out. Yes, not at all. And he, like, lifts you from both of your hands up. Oh, thank us. you, sir. You're very welcome, man. 
Uh, uh, what's your name? Uh, you can call me uh, Rassi. Rassi? Oh, it's nice to meet you. I'm Regina. Uh, no role, just Rassi. Rassi, sorry. And what are you doing down here, Rassi? Uh, pa patrolling? I meant in your free time. Oh! <laughs> like I said. Going home to my wife and child. Oh. Well, that's mighty honorable of Good day, everybody. He turns mm. and walks away. Bye. Bye. Regina is really good at making sure that the cops never stick around. <laughs> <laughs> I've been doing this for quite some time. It seems to scare wow. off pretty quickly. <laughs> wow. Yes. Intentionally. Who would have thought acting like you would make people not like you? Who would have thought? <laughs> it's quite thought? a gift, really. <laughs> it's a blessing <laughs> and a curse, if you will. It's my specialty. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh. I can't I can't tell if she's being characteristically not self-aware or uncharacteristically self-aware. I I don't think it's either. You know. I I think it's neither. Or both? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna waste <laughs> time thinking about it. Yeah. Uh huh. Do not try and dig into the psyche of Regina. Oh god no. <sighs> it's definitely a last thing I'd be digging into right now. Corvus learned that lesson a long time back. <laughs> yeah, approximately a couple, couple like a week ago, two weeks ago. God, is it that recent? I mean, it's been less than a month at least. Yeah, something <laughs> like that. It's been like two and a half weeks. Anyhow, should we be on to the portal then? Hmm. Indeed. Alrighty. So, you all start tracking outside of the city, leaving through one of the massive walls. Keep in mind, there is a curfew here, everybody. Mm-hmm. Alright, just reminding you all, just reminding you all. And as you get out there, um, the snow seems to pick up considerably at this point. Oh, I hate the wind is blowing, coming due west and slamming against all of you. It's Brisk enough that even putting up your hood causes a little disturbance as it kind of pulls and tugs at you. Those of you with longer hair, which I believe is just Cor uh, just Regina. Does Regina have hair? <laughs> yes. I don't. I looked at the token. I can't see it. So okay. It, it's yeah. scraggly gray hair that goes. Ah, uh, so not really. Rolling. It just goes yeah. right through her hair. I mean, Fortune's got it all over his face. True. Yeah, his beer is just slamming to the side. Just, mm, it's, it's aggravating. I hate it here. <laughs> so, you all begin traveling out. You head immediately southwest of Allfield, where you see that there's a nice little hill range out here. Nothing too obnoxious, nothing too big. Um, but many of them seem to have these holes and entrances inside. Jasper and Corvos, you recall last time you were here, the scorch marks across the area, but the snow seems to have covered up most of that very well. And you recall the open entrances just agape with these bug-like entities and creatures, but most of them are closed. You all walk over towards this area. There's no guards in sight. There's no patrol. There's no workers. Most of the entrances are closed off. And you go up to that main tunnel that the two of you have been in twice before and see that it is boarded up with gaps in between the boards, but the entire structure seems to have been closed off with a single word written across the Inzemian, restricted. What's it say? Oh, oh, it says words. Yeah. Do none what? of you speak Zemnian? Nope, nope, I'm from the Menagerie, <laughs> Chief. Ah. I know Marquisian. 
It's not gonna help me here in the Empire. <laughs> oh, jeez, Corvus, you're from the Empire! Oh, look, it's just a sign. Let's just keep going past it. <laughs> that could say anything. <laughs> yeah. Yep. It probably says entrance for all we know. Probably. Good. Mm. It could just say mine. I mean, that's here. where it is. Yeah. Hey, miners, enter here. You never know. So common doesn't cover Zambian. No, it does not. No. Okay. Yeah, Zambian is its own dialect and language. Got it. In meaning to love that. All right, hold up. Just to be safe, I'll check it. So you sit Wait, down and start ritually. Do you ritually cast it? Sorcerers can't ritually cast. Oh, I cast you... it normally. Bink! You touch it. Restricted area. Please turn around. Ah, says so the opposite of what we thought. <laughs> oh. Well, that's less inviting. Mm. Says we're not allowed. Is there a wall around it? Uh, it is a tunnel into the hill, and it's boarded up. Mm. Like, nailed shut. An <laughs> old mining chair. There's gaps in the wood, but it's, uh, Uh, I'm gonna look at it for like, is there a secret door or something like that on it? Roll me an investigation. Or is it literally <laughs> boarded? Yeah. It's literally boarded. Yeah. Like mm. they don't want people to go in here. Hmm. Sounds like a good place to go in. <laughs> I feel like I feel like trying to hide in the actual place itself. When he gets there, it's probably not a good idea. We should probably it, stay outside of it. Does it look like there's any way that he could have gotten in, the other guy? Corvus, roll me an intelligence check. Nice. Um, I mean, it's a little small. A halfling could crawl through easily by the knowledge that you have. Um, there's also the possibility, I mean, this is a little far-fetched, even for your form of thinking, uh, that the individual could simply teleport in there. Oh, mm. using a mundane spell like uh, Misty Step. Could we uh, send Lord Cavendish in again then through the hole? Hmm. That's yeah. Might as well. <laughs> Mine as well. I'm fighting how I said it, but okay. <sighs> That's what I heard. These are fighting words. Roll initiative. <laughs> 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 So That's yeah, are you sending punches. Lord Cavendash in? Yes, I will. All right. I'll take you have to lift eyes. him up and put him over the area where he like leaps in and lands down. And He'll... then I'll take over his sense of... Alrighty. Looking inside of this little hill, this is an excavation site. Uh, you see the remnants of wooden tracks that have been placed here. Um, you see... These crates, which have been emptied out, presumably for materials that they were moving in and out. There's a, uh, a broken cart uh, that would have been used in the mines across the tracks that go downwards uh, over on the left-hand side. You see the support beams, most of which look charred and burned, like they're just barely still holding on. Up ahead... You see areas where the compacted rocks, rubble, and dirt have fallen down to make it much more difficult to traverse inside. And that's about as far as you can see with Lord Cavendish's visual prowess. Can I see... I'm going to have him look for tracks. In the... All right. Uh, have him roll a survival. Not, not the cart track. I know. Uh, survival check. What about the chance of trying to find another entrance? There are tracks in here. Footprints. Starting about 30 feet in front of the uh, entrance. That there are sounds... some footprints inside. Hmm. About how far would you say? Hmm, maybe 20 to 30 feet, maybe, Matt? That's about a misty step away. A who? Who's Misty? Oh, is that what that's... M stands for? 
Probably nope. Would be. Probably I mean, not. I guess it's a possibility. But unlikely. they named me Mischief. <laughs> <laughs> uh, also, by the way, I can't hear anything you all are saying. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yep. uh, that was just a random question on Regina's lips. So yeah, I'll uh, I'll come back too, and then uh, poof, Lord Cavendish back out with me. Uh, you try to depoof him, and he doesn't depoof. Lord Cavendish isn't coming back. He's really lost this time. We gotta go. He's 30 feet away. He's looking yeah, directly normally, at you, just blinking. Normally, I can pull him back to me. Uh, Which means there's some voodoo going on. Um, yeah, kitty, 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 kitty. First of all, it just walks out over towards is. you. Are you sure that's what's going Orphan, on? Here? Are you a druid? It climbs up as well. Yeah. I could reach in and grab it, or... Yeah, right there. Like, it climbs up and... Yeah. You have pretty Impressive. thick arms. His, uh... His claws do sink into your arms, but it barely hurts. It's not the first time. I mean... Yeah. From him, anyway. Now, Lord Cavendash is kind of, like, sitting on your shoulder, glaring at Regina. Hmm. I think we need to put his clothes back on. He doesn't seem happy. Well, this seems really awkward. <laughs> it does. At least the top hat and the monocle. Have, are, how, are you looking or doing that thing now, or are you still, are you back to normal? Oh, no, I'm back. I, I'm here. Okay. Yeah. So... Tracks inside. Anybody? Do we break in? What do we do? Well, let's let's see if we can't find a more. What's the word I'm looking for? A more graceful solution to get inside. Quiet. All right. We could pry the wood open. Oh, I see. So would you like to all roll me investigation checks? Searching that, through yeah. the hill range, trying to look for an open end. I'll cast guidance Jeez. on my... Yep. <laughs> wow! Whoo! Wait, Corvus, why did you roll intelligence? That was before? Oh, okay. I was about to see. Okay. <laughs> Fourteen on Regina. And Corvus, go ahead. Oh, wait, you rolled an eight. Forger rolled a six. Jasper! Yep. Seven. Right. Uh, you all look around for about an hour and a half, and you do come across many of these different tunnels. Um, most of you are, you know, getting very frustrated because they're all patched up in similar manners. Uh, Regina, however, you do luckily stumble upon one where you see the boards have already been loosened and are kind of like flapping against it in the wind with the snow. I mean, it'll be a tight fit for Fordrum, but everybody else could squeeze and, you know, belly, on their bellies crawl in. How far off is it from the one where you put Lord Cavendish in? Uh, maybe 400 feet, 500 feet. I mean, we could go in this one that I found, but... I feel like going in the other one starts us off on the tracks that we saw inside. Hmm. This one mm. might not even connect for a while. Yeah. Definitely seems like this is the one he went in. With the tracks. Mm. I mean... I could teleport in there, similar to what he did. Which wouldn't make that much noise. But I right, couldn't take the rest of you along. I say we just try and pry the boards off over at the original one. Alright. Try, that's easy. <laughs> oh, Do you boy. have a crowbar, sir? Uh, I don't know. I've got woodworking tools, so... And I've got metalworking tools, and I've got... <laughs> oh, jeweler's tools, and leatherworking <laughs> tools... 
All right, all right. I'll something. say, I'll say, give me a woodworker's Wood. check utilizing strength. Deal. Oh boy. <laughs> he walks over with one of his chisels and a hammer and just clunk, 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 breaks off one of the boards. All of you have to climb over, but it was the top board, so now you can all just climb over and walk in. That works. And then once we get inside, I'll sort of put it back in place and kind of pull it back into its holes so that it tries to look as undisturbed as possible. Give me another wood carver's check. This time, utilizing dexterity. All right, not bad. I mean, if too strong of a wind comes by, it will knock it loose, but you would need a very fairly strong wind. Like 25 miles an hour. Yeah. I think I could do that. <laughs> um, <laughs> Maybe not. Test it. I'm not saying I'm going to. Maybe on the way out. <laughs> Don't freak it out. Is this the point where we need to be a little bit more sneaky? Indeed. All right. I'll go ahead and cast my spell. Hashtag best spell. Ah, oh, it is similar to what I do. All right, all of you, roll me your stealth check. <sighs> I'll lead if you want. See, that I rolled fine on. Hey. Looking pretty good. Oh, there it is. Alrighty. 17 minimum. Oh, shit. So, you all begin heading into this tunnel. After about five or ten minutes of travel, Fordrum and Regina, both of you feel a little off in this place. Fordrum, you've spent, you know, a bulk of your childhood crawling through tunnels and such back in Uthodurn, but this area feels different to you. Not like things you've enjoyed being near in your not-so-distant past. Yeah. Regina, that connection you usually have to the Wild Mother, nature, as a whole, seems more distant than you're comfortable with. I don't like it down here. It doesn't feel right. You know what I mean? Man, I don't know what it is, what it is of evil people and storing all their shit in mines and underground. I don't understand. Right. Well, it's hard to yeah, it's find. Weird, it's a weird motif, I have to I say. Mean, it's, it's, I mean, it's kind of cliche, honestly, at this point. Um. Yeah. It feels weird in here, like there's could be something evil down here, or... I mean, there was the last time we were here, so it makes sense if there was more, honestly. What were they? Some very large-looking things, ants, bug, alien things. They're very weird-looking. Hmm. Mm. And with that, I pull my shield out and my axe. <laughs> <laughs> Big bugs? No way. Yeah, that That's doesn't bad. sound great at all. No. <laughs> yeah, I remember they, they tried to suck one of us dry like a mosquito, but like a big oh, one. Good lord, okay. Yeah. Good to know. Mm. Are you going to tell them any... anything else about them? Yeah, is there anything else you guys know that maybe we should be Shit. made aware it's been of? Shit. so long. Hold up. This they is like were... the second session. They were Hold weak up. to fire, I think. Uh, I mean... Yes, they did not like fire. They were vulnerable to fire. Yeah, Vulnerable, did, thank you. Not, not a fan of fire. Okay, good. Uh, uh, let's see. Roll me history checks, both of you. I can see what I can tell you. I didn't write anything specifically down for them. All right, 14's pretty good. Um, When they were killed, if it wasn't through fire, mm. uh, they would leave behind a spore that would start causing people to suffocate oh. breathing it in. That's right. Right. It would fill your lungs. That's yeah, right. Yeah. However, the spores were very flammable as well. Yeah. 
Yeah. So it was easy to incinerate them. Yeah. You remember, Cade had a great time with it. Yeah, he was lighting them up. Okay. It's good to know. Not a fan of fire. You're not? I mean, I mean, I don't particularly like fire. Stand back then, because I I will probably call the forge down on all this. (laughs) All right. Whatever you say, man. Um, and I'm pressing on. Alrighty. Alrighty. So. Your stealth checks weren't bad. With the plus 10. <laughs> yeah, most of us in the high 20s. And then Regina. Yeah, I think we end up in low 20s. <laughs> yeah, you guys are good. It's It's pretty good. It's pretty good. No net ones, finally. First, so. I'll check. As you travel deeper and deeper in, you do see the ruins of these mine carts and the ruin of ore that was starting to be produced down here and brought back out. You see cobwebs that have already begun to thicken inside of the corners. However, the middle section seems to be fairly wide open as you're walking through. In fact, Regina, I believe you're the one with the halfway decent perception. Yes, you are. You notice there are some scorch marks on the edges of cobwebs that linger over top of the center walking area. Now, it is very dark in here, and although you do have dark vision, keep in mind, you still have disadvantage on perception and everything else, even in darkness. It's not dim light. Vision. Right, but everybody else. It's I have magical eyes, but they don't do shit. <laughs> but your magic eyes work in this situation. Yeah. Everyone else, you are having difficulty watching. It is pitch black down here. I like the darkness. I was born. (laughs) Well, too bad. I cast light on my staff. Oh, okay. You got to probably warn us about that next time. Ah, my eyes. No, I can't either. (laughs) Now, I did notice this. Here, look. Right here on the walls. Mm, it looks oh, like somebody's got some fire in here. No, no, uh, next to the cobweb. It looks oh, the, like there's been fire. Yeah, the tips of them are frayed. It's fire. Huh. Must have been some sort of fight recently? Are they still warm? I'll like go up and like poke one of them. Alright, your hand is now sticky from cobweb. It's kind of hard to huh. tell. Rose. Hmm. <clears throat> Roll me a uh, survival check, Jasper. Uh, <laughs> Baba Booey. Kind of hard to tell. Kind of hard to tell. Eh, I mean, eh, it's a little warmer than the air around us, but eh. Could also just be your hands. Yep, exactly. <laughs> Rubbing them together. Could just be sticky. imagining it. Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't put it past it. So... Well, I'm going to stay around the edge as I make my way around this room. I'm not going to walk right through the center of it. So you're staying close to where the cobwebs still linger? Yeah. Okay. So you keep walking. After about 100 feet or so, you mm-hmm. notice that it dips down uh, where there's a stop for the carts themselves. You know, kind of like they can transport it up and through this area. And then there's a winding pathway that seems divoted, like stairs were in the beginning processes of being constructed. Uh, Fordrum, I would like you to roll me a survival check at advantage, because Dwarf. Cool. 23s. 23, either way. Yep. Um, This is definitely closer towards the infancy of a mineshaft. Like, the excavation was only in use for roughly eight months or so before it turned to disuse, which is a very early stage in mining to turn off your, you know. Unless they found something bad. Right. It's usually the only reasons to abandon a mine. Just what they did. (laughs) Yeah. Um, So it must have been operational for about eight months or so. Um, The structure they utilize down here um, is actually interesting to you. 
In hmm. Uthodurn, it's not very common, but there are groups of uh, Durgar up there. Hmm. And this definitely seems like deep dwarven type of structure in supporting the beam, which yep. means this is probably one of the most well-constructed mining facilities in the entire empire. Nice. Mm. I'll just look up at it and be like, this was made well. Oh. Mm. Uh, based off of the width as well of the tunnels, uh, you dictate that they were doing... Um, the purpose of their mining was not uh, strip mining, which is mm. something that you would do for finding materials, gems, ores, finding like entire veins of them and connecting and taking them out. Um, this was more purposeful mining. Like the individuals who were in charge, the foreman, uh, was seeking something more specific. Mm -hmm. uh, like an archaeological dig or something in a specific Closer area to, to find that. something. Right. Yeah. Cool. See, dwarves cunning can be useful if your GM takes it in consideration. <laughs> Sorry, I had somebody oh. in a different game say that ability's useless. I'm like, no, it isn't. <laughs> it is very good. Yeah, it's useless until it, it's necessary. It's useful yeah. until it's, it's useful. typically unused. It's like yeah, the half luck. The luck isn't that useful when you're always fishing for crits until it's useful. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's great. I will convey all of that. It looks like it's digging for relics or some or some kind of an archaeological dig instead of a mining dig but hmm. but i don't make sense why why would they build in the foothills near all fields well i mean if we think about historically most things in this realm have when you're really reaching back especially from an archaeological standpoint we're talking people looking for stuff from ancient times so that stuff could be littered anywhere. That's true. I guess any ground could be fair game at that point. Yeah. And you never know. I mean, foothills in general are what they are, but we're not we're not terribly, terribly far from well, I guess we are pretty far from the mountains and such. But maybe they were looking for another piece of that guy, the king. Um, man, I guess I don't know. I you wonder, never know. Maybe, maybe, maybe he knows. I'm gonna try and call out to him again. So, excuse me, my king. Uh, do you know if any of your body parts are around here? Roll of persuasion. <laughs> he doesn't like you. I mean, there's no, you know, like yeah. it's. <laughs> I I'll mean, it's kind of close it. to the verse glade and the Usta lock. I mean, I guess it may have some importance. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, no. I employ you <laughs> to give me to someone more suitable. Boom. How do you do that? Oh. <laughs> so you are there. What do you mean more suitable? Who is she talking to? Not a nuisance that will abuse my power. Yeah. Remember, words can hurt people's feelings, so you gotta be nice. Oh God! Oh, it hurts. Who are you talking? What, oh, what powers boy. do you have? Or what powers do I have? Uh, can you quickly remind me which, uh, which one this was? Did I give you a name for it? I don't think so. Did you have an ability that you remember that you used? She hasn't used any ability with this thing yet. No, no, I literally just got it. Talked to him. Oh yeah, that's seconds, right. He didn't like you at all. And he never talked to me. He didn't <laughs> yeah, want to yeah, bestow yeah. his power upon her. <laughs> Oh, this is yeah, yeah, yeah. This yeah, the is, voice, the voice. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was just yeah. trying to remember which. There's been a few of these oh. in other games. Just, yeah. Um, yeah. One who speaks with authority for the good of others. 
Well, everything I did was for the good of others. You're a nuisance. If you give me to another, I will answer your question. What's he How saying? How do I give you to another? <laughs> you offer me. And they accept. And what will they do with your power? Not abuse it if you give it to them. How have I abused it? I haven't. I don't even know what's going on. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> this is my deal with you. I'll turn to the group and say he wants me to pass him off to another person. Um. How was that supposed to work? Who? Apparently, the, the, the voice from uh, whenever we were back over by the Ooster line. Oh, in the verse, like the tomb. Yeah, yeah. Right. Oh. We, that, uh, that's who you're talking to right now? Yeah, I, I was seeing if maybe one of his body, the other pieces were over here. Um, but he, yeah. he, he says I'm a nuisance. Oh, I And that I, I mean... his power, which I don't know what his power is or how I could have abused. Did he answer you or he said that he'd answer me if I gave him to somebody else oh uh, I... did he say anybody in particular that he wanted to somebody that would use his powers for the good of others I, I look at Fortrum and Corpus <laughs> uh, I mean it's kind of all of us so yeah. I mean the very extents Based on what it is, the voice, I feel like it would bestow upon you powers involving your voice. And maybe how you can influence people with it. In which case, I feel that plays a bit more strongly to, admittedly, Jasper's strengths. I mean, it would be quite useful for my cause and the organization I work with. If the other voice that's in his head doesn't mind a roommate. Oh, God. Oh, that's right. That would also uh, be... I mean, I don't think she would care, honestly. Actually, I'd probably, she'd probably like... But, but would he care? More information. I'm going to reach out to the king again and see... Sure, um, you could ask. Delilah. I think the person that I would hand you to actually already has somebody speaking inside his head. <laughs> Does that matter? Oh, boy. I do not wish to deal with someone corrupted by other influences. Oh, well, there's your answer. <laughs> All right, well, I'll turn to the group. Um, Yeah, he, he doesn't want to do that. So I think the best choice would be Fordrum then. No offense to anybody. I agree. He does have the authority. Right. Let me just look at him. So, sure, right. why not? So Fordrum, you're going to have to hold on for a second. Does but, it like involve kissing or something? Like mouth to mouth? Yeah, like to, 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 transfer, to the transfer the voice? For the voice, I have to kiss. Oh, all right. It's all four right. Drums, he can have it. That would make sense. I have no regrets anymore. <laughs> 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 Just wait if it needs to come to you later. Oh, boy. right. Late chaos reign. <laughs> we can burn that bridge when we get to it. <laughs> <laughs> nope, we're out. Bye. <laughs> Like, you know what? I'm sick of that. <laughs> one of those mushrooms, no one will care about anything. Yep. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go over to Forge Room, I'm gonna say, I offer the voice to you, and then try and kiss. I let her kiss me, I don't care. Okay. And he says you have to use tongue. <laughs> Jasper instinctually cringes and looks away. Regina, in what? your head, please. Tell him to accept me. Uh, he says you have to accept. Uh, I guess I accept. All right. I need uh, wisdom saves from both of you. Ooh. Ooh. There's a burst of energy that shoots from Regina and slams into Fordrum. This pulsation of white glowing aura that emanates into your head Fordrum, and after a few mm. moments settles down 
Regina, you no longer mm -hmm. have that bad, eerie feeling. Fordrum, you have a very bad, eerie feeling now. Mm. Like, this area just became a lot worse. Oh. I feel very uneasy about this area now. Now, tell him to answer my question about whether there's more of him around here. Um, please answer Regina's question about more of you around here. Or answer it to me. There's a pause for a moment. There is no aspect of my will or body near you, not for a long way. Okay. Though I sense the presence of corruption from a divine source nearby. Uh, he says there is no aspect of him nearby, but he does sense the essence of corruption from a divine source nearby. Um, that's not good. I agree. Divine as in like a god? Uh, it's... I would assume so. But I would assume so, yes. And last time I checked, a god being corrupted is usually not a good thing. Uh, I, I speak... For you. It's not. I speak back to him and say, I am a holy man of the All-Father. Will that conflict with you? It will. Great. <laughs> oh boy, this guy's just a hard case to please. Though for the time being you are not disturbing to linger across the four thoughts of. Very well. Then we shall cohabitate for a time. Call for my voice if you need assistance. Thank you. Yep. And you are just charismatic enough that he would not reject you. Like Regina. Sorry, Regina. Um, <laughs> but as you can imagine, a commanding voice wants charisma. <laughs> but yes. <sighs> Oh boy, I don't know. Divine corruption, eh? Like desecrated land. That's not good. Definitely feels more eerie than the last time we were here. Forge from roll me a history check, please. Okay. Uh, I don't know, it doesn't feel as bad anymore. Jasper, are you proficient in history? I am not. I am. Unfortunately. Corvus, you wouldn't have the opportunity. Nah. One of the downsides of growing up in the Empire is you never learn about history except what they want to teach you. Yeah, I only have four skill proficiencies, my guy. Sorcerer. <laughs> That's not one of them. <laughs> yeah. Yep. So, Forge Room. Yep. The Empire was not always the Empire. The Duendalian Empire was not always what it is today. Uh, this is a much more recent development, roughly about 300 years which is a fairly long time for an empire to persist, but mm -hmm. nowhere near as old and enriched of culture as, say, Uthadern, yep. Jorhas, other places that have existed since possibly the times of the Calamity. And because of that, the history of the battles of the Calamity were not educated to you. Yeah. But there's always the possibility that it exists. The Calamity affected this region like it affected almost every other inch of Wild. Mm -hmm. It's kind of hard to believe that uh, one third of the entire continent had none of the Calamity on it. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I will just repeat that. Um... And I say, uh, I'll repeat that, and I'll add, 
So kind of like I suggested, there's an opportunity where perhaps what is in here is something that is left behind from the age of the calamity, which may be the chaotic rumblings that I am being told to sense within here. That sounds bad. Yeah, but we're being sneaky, so I feel like if this individual is poking around in this area, he's either looking for it or found it and trying to serve it, which would totally explain the situation of manipulation and chaos that he's sort of in An extreme, or, overly cautious behavior. Well, I mean, he's doing it skillfully. So, he's not totally skillful. mad. Yeah, he's not totally <laughs> mad to the point of losing his mind entirely, but definitely on the. But it, again, it could be something of greater concern or greater control than he can retain. So he could be being manipulated. And they could be setting up for something even more chaotic. True. Well, maybe we should figure out what's going on and maybe put a stop to it. Hey, that's what heroes do, right? And he elbows Fortrum. Yes, that is what we do. Regina, you hear whistling from down beneath you. Hey, sh shut the fuck up. Okay. You hear that? Now that she they points it out, all of you can hear it. Um, that's... Hide. Do I know what it is? Yeah. Is it a notable song that we know of, or is it just uh, kind of... Roll stat stealth checks, Jasper. Uh, roll me a history check. 11. Jasper, that's not a song that you know. Okay. I'm going to snuff my light, too. So. I don't fit anywhere in here to hide. <laughs> Plus 10. Um, unfortunately, your thing would have been gone by now, Regina. Been well oh, over an hour. Oh, we've been in here for more than an hour. Okay. Well, no, it, oh, took you, it took you to get up here, and then you investigated outside for more than an hour. Oh, then I would instinctually do it with that whistling. That's fine. That's fine. Like All that. right, that's good. That's good. Uh, but Forge, oh, you God. have disadvantage, right? Why? Hmm. I don't know. Heavy armor. Why would I? Uh, am I in heavy armor? I thought I was in medium, but maybe some it medium depends on the it. It, some mediums. What medium armor are you wearing? It was the equivalent of splint, so yeah, probably this. You have disadvantage, yeah. Okay. <coughs> As you all kind of like move so. over to different areas to hide, uh, Fordrum kind of like leans into <laughs> one of the mine carts that are like on the side. And unfortunately, scrape into it with his armor. Go shit. All of you tucked yourselves away into corners, deeply veiled from any easy to see area, letting the walls and dust kind of fill in front of you, obscuring you from any views. An individual, now you hear, takes quieted footsteps up those slightly formed stairs. I'm going to take over uh, Lord Cavendish's eyes and tell him to go towards the individual. All right. Uh, Lord Cavendish begrudgingly sacrifices himself, steps out towards the individual, and you see... There is an interesting looking humanoid. They have slightly yellowed skin and they have this thick exterior that almost looks like large scales, but much bigger connected to their shoulder parts of their faces and guarding the, uh, the more precious aspects and more vulnerable aspects that, a typical humanoid would have over them. 
as it looks over, you do see that the one eye is kind of bulbous and completely black. And they seem to look directly at Lord Cavendash. They start calling him forward. I'll telepathically tell him to go towards it. He approaches up towards it. Reaches down and uh, just pets the top of the head a few times. Do any of you speak primordial? Yes. Hell yeah, we do. What dialects? Uh, uh, Terran for Jasper, Terran. obviously. Yep. And yep. Aquin for Corvus? Yep. You both recognize Primordial, but the language is a little broken for both of you as it comes from a different form of it. Oh. Yeah, I know Primordial and Terran. Well, that Terran is a sect of Primordial. Yeah. It's an option of Primordial. Um, this is kind of like you're... You're listening to somebody, uh, you're fluent in Spanish, but you're hearing somebody speak in Portuguese type of thing. Like, uh, it's yes. super similar. There's commonalities, but yeah. But it is I, still I don't think of it more as like we're speaking Spanish, but one's speaking like Spain, Spanish. Yeah, Spanish. yeah, yeah, yeah. Different yeah. slang. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Uh, but you more or less capture. He's early tonight. Tell him to not linger. We have much to discuss about our visitors. Then after he's done, he uh, shoes Lord Cavendash away from you. And just begins walking away. You hear the whistle continue for a couple of minutes and then fade. I'll snap back to my sense. Lord Cavendash like runs up to you and hides underneath your robes. Um... That cat wasn't scared before. No, he's usually not like that. You did a good job, Lord Cavendish. Wow. <laughs> did we all hear? Oh, no, I didn't understand it. Never mind. No, only the two of them picked up yeah. that amount of the language. However, after that him. nice interaction, this is where we are going to go ahead and go on break. We'll be right back, everybody.